and welcome back to some more Enshrouded. Right, now whatever my wife had, I know also have, so I've not been able to record for a couple of days. And just to be fair, I don't have that much energy right now, but I got a comment. A comment about some lore. Let's see, and that I was instructed to go back to Fox Chase. So there's, that's where we're gonna go. Now, I do believe that I have explored the living Schmidt out of this place, but apparently there's a body with some lore. That is exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna go there. There's the monkey. Okay, Fox Chase should be right down there, eh? Okay, what's this thing? I've been here, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, oh boy. Ugh, I'm already motion sick. Ugh, yeah, goddamn. There was nothing up here? Okay. Let's see, Fox Chase. We're looking for a body. It is this way. Okay, a body, you say? I know there's some ghosts. Okay, let's have a look around. I am so certain that we have been everywhere around this place. Right? So, body outside. Okay, let's go to that other lore, which should be inside this thing, right? A body, you say? Right outside. Okay, there's a hidden chest. Legendary stuff. There's a body, you say? Okay, now let's have a look, see, because this is the first place with the lore. Hang on, there were also time capsules over here. Okay, the time capsules are gone? Yeah, okay, so, reap what you sow. Body on the outside. What exactly does it mean by outside? There's nothing here, is it? Is there? But yeah, what happened to the time capsules? Come on, ghost. Yeah, and one thing that I am gonna do, I'm gonna respec a little bit later on. But I'm a little bit scared to do so, because right now I have 114 skill points, but there's been an update. So will I lose two skill points? Now I do believe that the things that I have, that the build that I have is probably one of the best ones I've made thus far. Since it has all the mobility and everything. Okay, now there's a time capsule here, right? Eh? There's a crutch field, 4564. Go back to Fox Chase. There's a body outside that gives you part of reap what you sow, okay? Well, there's also enemies. But where? There's a body, you say? I mean, it... You would think it would be down here, right? Now, could it be hidden in rubble? Again, I think that I would see the red shine of the note, right? Now, we just said outside. What exactly does he mean by outside? Okay, if we get rid of some of the mushrooms, maybe we can see better. Hang on. What do we have? Meow. I see something glowing. Are you fucking kidding me? It was right here. This is what we meant by outside, but hang on. It's this Reaper's Wand. Reaper's Wand? What does that mean? So if we go into lore, and that is probably hollow. Reap what you sow. A strange one was plucked from the cold body fell creatures so over on back yeah. Okay. So just just a wand. Level 9. Reaper's Wand. I mean, it looks fancy. Just ice, eh? What does it actually look like? Oh, wrong. Yeah, that looks cool. What about this thing? Is this Excalibur? It is not. It's just a regular staff. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had been searching this area for so long, and it was right there. Like, how was I supposed to know? You can see in the video that it is clearly hidden. Ooh. Now, thank God for the comment. And thanks again. What else was his name? Something Crutchfield? Harris Crutchfield. 4564. Damn. Okay, there you go. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, okay, so then we found that. I mean, now we're starting to get most of the lore. There's still some stuff that I miss. I know there should be something in here and probably at the scavenger camp. But yeah, one thing that I did want to do. Let's see. Okay, let's travel out of this place while I still have consciousness. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah, I am not feeling 100%. <laughs> oh god. Because in the update, they did mention that they fixed some bugged talent points, and according to this Discord, a lot of people have their skill points reduced. And there's a tiny little bit of me that fears if I start to respec now, then I will lose two skill points, or perhaps even more. And then I will not be able to get this awesome build that I have now, which is basically an immortal build with a lot of uh, mobility. But there's one thing that I do want to test out. And that is an armed damage. Could that be viable at all? Because with this set, unarmed melee damage, unarmed melee damage, 
And that's pretty much it. So the head and the gloves. I mean, we might as well go for the full set, right? Like that. Now, unarmed damage, I would presume that would be for... Actually, do I need to respect? Because I was thinking about this. Magic power punch that pushes and stun hit foes. And that could be something. That requires mana, but that does that mean that my... Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, so we're gonna test one more thing. Usually I have 114 talent points. So we're gonna risk it. Reset skill points. And, yeah, I now have 112 rather than 114. So I lose... Well, in my previous build, I lose 2 strength, which is 10% damage. I mean, not the end of the world, but it is something. It's unarmed a melee weapon. That's the thing. We don't really know, do we? On a critical hit with a spell, the targets will be stunned for 4 seconds. Now, a spell, does that mean something that is cast by the staff, a wand, or my fists? Uh, I mean, only way to actually test this out is probably... Hollow Holes Dungeon? This is probably the best description of a monk build. I mean, I haven't buffed up any, but let's uh, let's give it a go. Let's see what we can do here. We lost a couple of skill points, but yeah, don't think that's big of a deal. I mean, I could have just made another character and, and uh, who knows. We will see. Okay, come at me. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Yep, this is... Um... <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't think it was worth it. I mean, he is stunned, but <laughs> what the hell is this damage? Yeah. Well, okay. Unarmed damage is just a joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just read the, the description of the helmet. 15% unarmed melee damage. But yeah, definitely not worth it. Okay, so we did learn that unarmed damage is useless. And we also lost two skill points. Which is, nah, well, 112, that is, yeah, that is the max then, eh? Hmm. Yeah, no way to get that back. Okay, but let's, anyhow, okay, let's refine our build. I want a little bit of dexterity updraft. I also want this, so I'll probably, that's 10% snake eater, uh, endurance. All damage in range weapon, okay, 10% more, and it's the same. Okay, yeah, let's see, we do want all of this. Very good that you can just press space while hovering over it. Now we do want double jump. Now we do also want blink, but we don't necessarily need any intelligence whatsoever. Uh, yeah, but blink is very good. Okay, we go like this. We need that. Do we need this? I don't really think that we do. I mean, it's very good to be tankier, but I think that we should focus on damage. Even though there's two strength over here. Yeah, okay, but let's see. I think that we're just gonna go full on warrior build here and we're gonna take constitution and damage for all of them. We don't need that feast, no. We need all of this. There we go. Now jump attack, probably good to have jump attack. Okay, and that's all that we get. Right, so yeah. Well, it is fine, it is fine. I mean, I could have used two more constitution or, you know, two more strength, a little bit like that, but I think this is a decent build only seven dexterity eh but yeah it is it is something because now we can zoom a little bit more we do a little bit more damage with the arrows and yeah so it's not the immortal build but i think it is good enough okay we might as well test it out let's see do i want yeah okay let's go in as this feller right so not the best armor but good enough at least we look decent. Now, uh, let's use the same weapons, um, but the rings. Yeah. Where's the Gemini rings? Gemini? Gemini? Gemini Crooked. Right, there we go. Maybe. Um, well, might as well buff up. Why not? A little bit of buff the buff. Just to see if we can just as easily uh, do this. Okay. So, let's repair. I mean, we're having the HUD on, just for science. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, s I still think that I'll use the same stuff. Okay. We'll get the VUCA buff as well, because you would probably do this once you wanted to farm. Uh, farm the Hollow Holes dungeon. It is very dark, but that doesn't matter. Boy, does it look scary up in here. Well, we did find lore. We tested out on arm damage, and we lost two skill points. <laughs> Goddamn. Well, if it was a bug, it was a bug. But one thing I do hope that once we start to level up, I want this entire tree. I, I want to be able to do everything. 
Okay, let's see. Let's not get not get too distracted because I can see Diddle is what supposedly right down here. Okay, where is stuff? I can't see anything here, maybe? Oh, I'm at the wrong place. Okay, I'm not doing too great damage. Hmm. Is it over here? Hello? I would like to see something, please. Yeah, I have one. Might as well. Okay, where are we? Ah, over here. Nice. Okay, what about this damage? That's better. Okay, so the Wuka is not that perceptible to blunt damage. Okay, good to know. Uh, there we go. Now we're geared to the teeth. Let's jump in the hollow holes. Okay, we're far less tanky. And we don't have that much strength, do we? No, we don't. Uh, again, it's partially because of my food. Because I could eat eat the wolf taco or whatever it was and then I would gain four strength and a couple constitution and it's decent uh, let's see yeah equip the rings now, I do have plenty of backups of my saves so I could just reset and then I would get my immortal build back but I think for the sake of everything losing two skill points isn't that big of a deal and anyhow, this isn't a focused build either. I mean, you could still get the immortal build, you just wouldn't get updraft and all the stamina stuff. I mean, that almost killed me. Mm, okay, need to be a tiny bit careful. I didn't get the two-hander. Yeah, healing is good. Healing is very good. And also, blunt damage is king. Whoosh. Yeah, I, I heal a ton. I heal a metric ton. Come on. Yeah, I heal up instantly. Now that's something. And a lot, a lot of damage. So much damage. Yeah, as long as I get to attack, nothing bad happens. <laughs> yeah, every hit. Yeah, I can take as much damage as I want, but just find myself an enemy and they're dead. Come on. Oh boy, yeah. This build is indeed fantastic. Oh, come on. Loot all button. Yeah, there was also the Q&A that the devs did. Now, I haven't read through it. I did watch a video. Might as well put a link in the description for it, a little bit of an overview. Uh, but, yeah, it seems like they're hard at work. Now, I didn't read every question. Again, I have been extremely sick, and I kind of still am. So, yeah, I thought about making a video about the update, but, yeah, or the AMA. Ooh, but, uh, I mean, it, 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 it looks good. Answered what we... Where are you guys going? Get back here. Where are they running off to? Really? Why are they running over here? Now I have to attack everything at once. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, I am. Okay, where's the rest of the thingies? And there he is. Uh, one more. Come on. That should do it. There we go. Now they said that uh, water would not be added in quite some time, and I get it. Now they were also talking a lot about translucent or invisible or transparent blocks. And uh, we'll see what they do. I mean,. I don't think it's that big of a deal to have glass yet, but we will see. Water is going to be interesting. I have no idea how they're gonna deal with water. Because they could do, you know, just a water is a block that doesn't really flow. Uh, that is a possibility, but we will see. Let's see. Whoop. Over here, over here, and under there. Okay, the boss. I mean, we might as well use this thing, eh? Okay, try not to die. I mean, I am taking so much damage. At least I'm dealing a fair bit, so that's something. Come on. Okay, everything is just dead. That is nice. Haha, stand under his ass and then don't get popped up in the air. Okay, and now we can just basically spam left click and everything will be fine, just fine. And there we have it. He's just fine. <laughs> yeah, glue set. Uh, that armor uh, cost me two skill points, the bastards. Well, I knew the risk when I was respecting. Well, that is totally fine. Okay, come on, give me something legendary. And, nah, not legendary. That's fine. Oh, it does sound like I have a pocket full of change. And it does. Let's see, where's the repair bench? Only thing that I really need. I mean, might as well pick up some potions on the way, eh? Okay, come at me, bro. Let's just gather them all up. A little bit of jump action. I mean, yeah, I mean, they can attack all at once, but it doesn't matter. The more enemies, the more I heal. Easy spy. All right, they did something with uh, running animations. Yeah, look at those fuckers. They're just running away, so they don't gather up like they used to. Now I'm not sure if this is better. I preferred when they were all just stacking up on me. Now they wait their turn. What? Why are you running away? Okay, that's strange. Yeah, they did. They did something with the enemy AI. 
Like, he's just standing over there. That's that's totally fine. Okay, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. And, ooh, almost. Almost what we wanted. Let's see, because this thing is ice damage, 10%. Okay. I mean, it is something. But, yeah, this is fairly easy. Because some of these mobs could actually drop weapons. Okay, so this build works fine. It does. It could be better. Again, I could also just put on the best armor and some better weapons, and we would be good to go. Because I don't think that there's much more loot downstairs, is there? I think this is the best way. Okay, let's give it another go. Hit run. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. Come out. Yes. Not bad. Uh, let's see, a little bit of repair. Okay, let's be quick about it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> that was a close one. But yeah, the more enemies, the more I can attack. That's a lot of skilling tools. But yeah, just spamming left click should heal all of my eggs. Oh, so much damage. You bastard. Okay, where is he? Come on. Okay, one is running away from me, one is running closer to me. I must admit, I'm not sure how this works. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if I actually need any of this stuff. What I mean, doesn't hurt. Let's stand at the front. There we go. Cut him off. Come on. Damage. Still miss one. Ah, oh, there's it. Yes. Come on. That should be it. Right. There we go. Speed run stretch. Okay. And a jump and a fly. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna loot this thing again. Might as well. Okay, come on. Give me something. And. Ah. More gloom set. Yeah. More fly. Okay. Kill the boss. Then we get two. Well, three more loot chances. This should go as easily as it usually does. Yeah, there's also backstab damage. Maybe that could be something. Come on. Okay, they're not really attacking me as much as they used to. Yeah, right this way. Oh, right. I should definitely get the wrist off, but yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, fly a little bit over this way and a little bit over this way and then down here. Okay, temp mundo two. Where's the boss? There's the boss. There's a loot. Okay, all the enemies are gone. Ow. There we go. Now we have this foot. Okay, now we just do damage. And we do far less damage we don't do down all the buffs, but uh, yeah, definitely worth it to get uh, buffs. Okay, now standard under his ass. There we go. Yeah. Ow. I mean, I guess you could also spec into backstab backstabbing damage and perhaps get something done. Spellbinder hat, you say, eh? Okay, sure. Okay, another loot opportunity. Come on, give me something fantastic. And... Okay, not the best loot. A little bit of repair. Hmm, the potion is gone. Maybe that is random too. Yeah, you can just stand there and look at me. Nino, Nino. What? Ah, oh, right. Mana is a factor, a factor too. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, gather up them all. That. Okay, I do gain stamina whenever I'm just hammering on. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about stamina. Yeah, they have done something with the uh, mobs that they have. They, they just keep running away. I mean, what is this guy doing? He's just, you know, not sure. And then there's a dog just yapping on about over here. Huh. Yeah, not entirely sure what they've done. They've done something. Come on, give me something amazing. And, oh, well, legendary. Okay, let's have a look at this thing, eh? That is quite a bit of stuff, eh? Okay, let's enhance this little bastard. Okay, what do we get from this thing? Let's see, so that's 55 base damage. And uh, durability is okay. Ice damage is 20% more damage against a hollow and 5% damage as health. I mean, it's something. Cutting and a little bit of blunt. Okay, what does it look like? Yeah, uh, it looks decent that it does. I mean, it doesn't really go that well with my outfit, but it is, in fact, something. But yeah, I kind of want the hammers. Okay, so even though this spec is a little bit nerfed, uh, it still works. I would go more heavily into, uh, yeah, more constitution and more strength. I mean, you don't need blink, you don't need updraft, double jump, or all this kind of stuff. You just go further into, into constitution and strength, and you will have an easy time when it comes to the whole, whole dungeon. But yeah, apparently one of the roots were bugged, like one of the shroud roots. So instead of getting one point, you got two. I do believe that I've discovered that before. Hmm. But yeah, 112 skill points. That is, that is something. Well, that should at least be max. Okay, okay. But uh, we did manage to find something today. We didn't find exactly lore, but we found a weird wand of something. But yeah, I think that I'm gonna say 
as always, until next time.